These girls make very beautiful artwork and their preferred medium is scrapbooking. Scrapbooks can be used to record family histories in all kinds of happy moments. Those unforgettable emotions and memories can last a lifetime. For me, scrapbooking is an opportunity to preserve the brightest memories. Yes, it sometimes takes a long time, and it is difficult, but look at how cool it looks. Modern scrapbooking first comes from America, its name coming from the practice of putting scraps of things together in an artistic way. These books preserve interesting moments, photos, comments, signatures, all kinds of art are being developed and scrapbooking is one of them. The introduction of new materials we can work with has led to an expanding interest in the hobby. Grading these books is always fun because I like to save some memories from a trip or a party with friends. It can all be assembled into one book, adorned with flowers and interesting inscriptions. It can always remind me of the high points of my life. I think scrapbooking appeared in Ukraine about 10 years ago. It was once popular to collect small questionnaires. That is probably also a variant of scrapbooking. The girls at school especially love doing it. They wrote questions and gathered answers from their friends, along with pictures and clippings, and kept all of that together. This hobby is developing rapidly among young people in Ukraine. Five to seven years ago, we had to buy paper from other countries, but now we have our own designers who make paper and other things for scrapbooking. So that area is also developing here. Scrapbooking has been my hobby for about four years now. I made my first book at a craft and design lesson. We had a teacher who managed to spark our interest in making things ourselves, and those who liked it kept doing it. So I began searching for information on the internet. This interest is not just limited to notebooks. You can make all kinds of things, like albums or postcards. If you want to master new techniques, there is a lot to learn. It was difficult at first because I had no experience. I still cannot say that I am having an easy time because I'm always trying to master new methods. To make a notebook, you need cardboard, paper, a hole punch, a glue gun, and glue. And we will choose other materials to design the cover. Those could be nets, flowers, butterflies, stickers, or anything else. Creating a notebook is a rather laborious process, so you would need quite a lot of free time. It is better not to be distracted by anything while you are doing it. Maybe play some music to help you stay focused. It takes me about four hours to make one if I don't get distracted. There are a variety of materials that can be used to suit different needs. Mix and media uses a lot of paint and art supplies. This is not just paper clippings. This is art created using a huge number of paints. There are simpler styles. The American style, for example, where the scrapbook is created with colorful paper and decorations. Есть винтажный стиль. Здесь уже все более состаренное. Для этого тоже есть специальные материалы, когда страничка. Then there is the vintage style, where everything resembles antiques. Special methods are used to achieve that effect. Pages are deliberately made to look old, and actual old photos are also used. This is especially popular when making a family album. Next, there is the European style, which I like quite a lot. 
clean and simple. When everything is clean, there's only the main photo and some small details. Every artist has their own style. With the introduction of high-quality Ukrainian materials, our own trends have also started appearing. This includes stamps showing local ornaments, embroidery, or symbols. All of that is also developing and has a positive impact on our culture and history. Сейчас актуальны блокноты в украинском стиле. Это могут быть ленточки с украинскими орнаментами. Это могут быть ткани, которые используются для вышиванок. Notebooks made in the Ukrainian style are very popular right now. There may be ribbons with Ukrainian ornaments or embroidered fabrics. I like burlap notebooks with twined thread, so I try to use those materials more often. I do not stick to any particular style because I like diversity. I like dreaming and inventing something new. Украина очень творческая, и поэтому во многих городах появляется все больше школ, мастеров. Ukraine is a very creative country, so more and more schools, artists, and art studios involved with scrapbooking are appearing in many cities. There are great artists in Lvov, Odessa, Dnipro, and Kiev. Kiev is a very large city with many studios, shops, and everything else. All sorts of master classes on scrapbooking are being held. Almost every manufacturer organizes classes and interesting events. There are also meetings of scrapbookers where they share experiences, show their works, and talk to each other. There are a lot of exhibitions and festivals in Kyiv and elsewhere in Ukraine. Exhibitions are very interesting because you can come and see the works live in person and look through albums. You can meet their artists, find out where they hold master classes, and learn something new from them. The internet also makes it possible to communicate with people all over the world. So many Ukrainian artists have shops on Etsy. Etsy connects many countries together and allows our artists to sell goods abroad, as well as meet and share with artists from all over the world. Handmade products are rather trendy in Ukraine at the moment, so I believe that scrapbooking will soon become a very popular pastime.